you unsatisfied with your education? The second part of episode two is brought to you by The Reese School. Are you educated but unhappy with what you learned? Well, come back to Reese School and get learned well. The Reese School is the brainchild of Helon Husk. His friends call him Helon Tusk. Get it? The second part of episode 2 of HQ Orange Blue is about the proper technique to draw an anatomically correct space fish. That's right, a fish from space. Now, you might ask, what does a fish look like when it develops in space? First, we should define what we're talking about when we say the word space. In this case, we mean deep space, outer space, the part of everything that is outside of our atmosphere. These fish have never been to Earth. They've never been to our galaxy. They are from deep, deep, outer space. You can imagine that this rectangle is deep space. Deep space in a small rectangular grayness. What will the fish look like? How will they swim? Now fish on earth and water swim because they have fins and they have an overall sort of shape like, uh, well, like a fish that lets them cut through water. One might call it aerodynamic, or we might refer to it as hydrodynamic. So earth fish, as we know, are hydrodynamic. They have fins. So a deep space fish, that's right, a fish, in space might have a different way of maneuvering. First off, I think that the deep space fish would have some kind of solar sail, maybe a fin that acts very much like our idea of a solar sail. As you can see, I've made this front part, the jaw, the mouth, very pointy because I fi figure it has to shoot through space like a rocket. So now incorporating the idea of a solar sail for our space fish, I'm going to say it might be something like area for the brain, eyeball, fin, and then we'll cut back into this also sort of sail-like tail. Maybe an extra little thing there to act like a rudder on the little fin-like tail in the back. Might want to do some shading right in here. So here would be like the there we go, like that. Now what do you think the rest of this space fish would look like? What is this part? Might a space fish have some kind of long appendage? Or appendages? That's even a word. Someone look up appendages. I'm going to go with 
it's got to have some kind of flowy like tentacles so we're going to go with some flowy tentacles I'm going to spin this around See, let's make some, make a little neck area here. It's got a bit of a neck, right? And then these flowy tentacles come off of it like this. Maybe that's probably pretty good. Just spin this back around a little. There we go. Maybe a little more there. So these, I'm going to leave these somewhat ill-defined because I don't know they would probably be pretty thin they wouldn't need to be you know muscular it's not going to be putting nuts onto bolts or anything um, so sort of flowy fan like maybe in a way would work similar to the solar sail something that could soak in energy and light of course we know light is energy. I'm gonna put a little weird thing right there. What do you think of this? Just a little weird thing right there. I'm not even going to say what I think it is. It's just a bit of a weird thing. Weird thing. Eye makeup. You gotta look good out in space. A little shade in here. And there we go. This, I, I believe, is the first full representation of a space fish. I hope that is easy to see. I'm using, of course, General's Layout Extra Black. I figure the Extra Black will make it easier to see. Later in the show, we'll have a special announcement from Helon about his plans for Mars. To recap the important parts of drawing a space fish, first off, since the fish is swimming through space, and that is deep, deep space, the fish would most likely need some kind of solar sail. So here you can see not only did I render a solar sail, a sort of a extended upper fin, a dorsal fin, I also incorporated the solar sail idea into the tail area fin, or I, I believe it's called the adipose fin, possibly the anal fin. Someone write in and tell me if it's the anal fin or the adipose fin. Phalange-like tentacles, but not real solid, something very wafy and, and sort of um, effervescent. And so I drew these, they're like legs, appendages, but they might, they might gather small things or they might draw in more energy. And then also a very pointy head, a very pointy mouth section. I'm not sure what a space fish would eat, but maybe there's something out there that it would go... The rest, the shading and these little edgy bits, just fantasy. Just me being fantastical. I'm going to add a little bit right there as well. See, you can do essentially what you like, because it's your drawing. And if you want it to be something else, like possibly a kangaroo in space, that's okay too. Don't feel you need to stick to this plan exactly. Make the drawing yours. If you would like your drawing to be a kangaroo or a polar bear, polar bears could be in space. See, I think polar bears could be in space. Or fish. Or something that admittedly looks much more like a bird. Maybe it's a bird in space.
Thank you for viewing Episode 2 of HQ Orange Blue. Please subscribe, like, dislike, interact, and by all means, don't kill anyone today. Are you concerned about the future? Don't worry about your grandchildren. I'll take them safely to Mars, where they'll live with me. Michael Jackson, I mean Elon Musk. My friends call me P-Long Tusk. Get it?